Hello everyone, today I will be sharing my entire interview experience at Greenlight and I will try to walk through all the process that happened on that day. Coming to the company that is a Greenlight, they were offering a CTC of 44 and the base was around 20 and the role was software engineer role. And the process was started at around 9 o'clock in the morning with a pre-placement talk and it went for an hour and after that online assessment was arranged at 10.15 a.m. and it also went for an hour. In online assessment, they asked around 13 questions, out of which 10 were MCQs which are completely based on SQL. And two were uh, coding question. In coding section, there were two coding questions. Uh, you can expect this question difficulty as read code medium, that is second and third question in the read code contest. Coming to the other section, that is the SQL question, we have to use uh, concat function in that. And I was able to solve one coding question and one, dis one discrete question. And in MCQ section, I was able to solve around four or five and I just marked uh, other randomly. And I want to mention one thing here. The compiler that they provided was on the hacker alert. Some functions of C++ were not working properly in the, uh, in the compiler. So yeah, it is completely luck based and you must be ready with some other language at such time. Uh, I was fa facing issue on using map function. We were not able to use map functions properly on that IDE. So after the online assessment, the results came out at around 12 to 12.15 noon. And out of 150 students, I guess uh, 20 students were shortlisted. And I was one among them. And after that, immediately they called out for the first round interview process. I like basically we all went for the first round process after wearing the formals and my number was around 15th in the interview process so mine was pretty much scheduled at a later time that is around 3 to 3 15 pm we can say in the first round i went inside and it was completely uh, coding round based uh, interview round and in that round basically he asked me three questions you can say the difficulty was around uh, easy to medium the first question was in, he asked me a question in a very big format, he told me some story. I'll directly break down into the simple question, that is, you have to say the length of the longest increasing subarray in the given array. And I was able to tell all the approaches, basically I told two approaches. Second question was a tree based question, he asked me to find uh, the diagonal traversal of a tree. Here I directly solved with the optimal approach using the queue. And the third question was, uh, uh, based on the online assessment. As I told, I was only able to solve uh, some MCQs and one coding question and one SQL question. So here he asked me the question which I didn't solve. I was able to come up with approach and I uh, also wrote the code. And he was uh, pretty much at PN and the interview process got over. Coming to the second round, like immediately after the first round, the second round results were arranged. Out of 20 people, around 8 people were selected for the second round and I was one among them. Uh, like at this point of time, the time was around 5.15 I would say, 5.15 to 5.30 in the evening. And the interview process started. Uh, I went inside, when I was going inside, I would say this, like around 3 or 4 people already finished the third round. Like how they were maintaining the time and how they were maintaining the schedule, I don't know. I went inside for the second round. Here uh, we had a brief introduction about ourselves and after that he gave me a question. The question was like, you have to find a maximum in each window of size k. Uh, basically you have to solve this with the help of uh, sliding window and dq. You can, this is a standard question and you can find this online. And I was able to come up with the map solution. I was not sure about the dq solution completely. So, but I knew the solution. I was not confident about uh, like explaining to him so i came up with a map solution he was okay with that and he told me to write the code and i tried and for the example that he gave and he was pretty much happier for after that question and i came outside after this process like many of them finished the third round and i was still waiting for my second round results and due to some time constraints they were not able to uh, take the roads are complete, uh, complete the left out roads uh, properly. Uh, only for one guy, they were able to finish the fourth round. And for all the other people, they were uh, like, they just took uh, based on the uh, second and the third round. 
and I was rejected up to the second round. And the main reason I would say is like, firstly, maybe I didn't get the good score at the online assessment, I would say. Mainly my competitor's resume would be better than me. And because of these two reasons, I would say I was rejected. So what is the conclusion from this whole process is, though if you are good at coding, if you are good at development and you are able to solve all the questions that they have given to you in the interview process, uh, then also there may be some kind of uncertainties at that point of time which uh, you where you can be rejected. At such point of time, you must not give hopes and you just be happy that you are able to solve all the questions and you think that your preparation level is at a very good level compared to other people. And yeah, take this as a plus point and start preparing for the next companies and this will help you in one way or the other. And it is the only way to not to get demotivated and to grab all the opportunities ahead. So this is the main conclusion that I would say and yeah, this you must start it on. Thank you.